Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today, let me introduce you the awesome Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G smartphone with dual SIM and Android 11. It's a mobile phone with 6 GB of RAM and 128 uh, GB of memory and more because you can gain the um, the storage up to one terabyte by using a micro SD card. It's available in black, in awesome black, in awesome blue, in awesome green, in awesome violet and in awesome white. It's also available with 256 gigabyte of um, HDD size. Then we have a Snapdragon 750G. It's also available with a Snapdragon 778G. 6.5 inches Infinity O display with an FHD Plus Super AMOLED display and a stunning design. Sleek curves and a seamless design. Minimal camera housing blends in with the matte finish for an iconic look. A multi-camera system is on board too. We take photos to the next level with a 64 megapixel main camera for crisp clear photos and 4500 milliampere hour battery. More time to do what we love with a long lasting battery and recharge quickly with 25 watt of adaptive super fast charging power. And we do more at once with processing power of up to 6 GB RAM and up to 128 GB of internal storage. This is awesome 5G. The power of 5G speeds change our smartphone experience, if it is available at your location, of course. This is awesome screen, super smooth scrolling. Feast for our eyes on vibrant details with the FHD Plus Super AMOLED display, reaching 800 nits for clarity even in bright daylight. Eye comfort shield lowers the blue light and super smooth keeps the view smooth whenever we are gaming or scrolling. All on the expand 6.5 inches Infinity O display. Yeah, and setting a new standard for stunning design here. Behold the comfortable sleek curves on the Galaxy A52's seamless design. The minimal camera housing blends in with the matte finish. On the rear for an iconic almost unibody look. Express our style with our trans setting colors. Violet black white blue and of course black is i think the best or maybe violet violet looks looks good too really cool we have awesome cameras always sharp and steady we have a macro camera with five megapixel um aperture 2.4 an ultra wide camera 12 megapixel aperture 2.2 a main camera with 64 megapixel aperture 1.8 and ois and a daft camera 5 megapixel aperture 2.4 that's really cool we go ultra high res on the 64 megapixel main camera with ois this is optical image stabilization we expand the viewing angle with the ultra wide camera we customize focus with daft camera or we get closer to the details with the macro camera and OIS captures every detail. We can finally say goodbye to blurry photos and video thanks to the optical image stabilization and high resolution front camera. Superstar selfies are possible. 32 megapixel front camera snaps high resolution selfies and the bokeh effect gently blurred the background. And it brings the daft camera, the focus to the front with the daft cam. The 5 megapixel daft cam lets us adjust the depth of the field in our photos with a simple touch. And there it is, macro camera captures even the smallest details. 
reveal even the most invisible details with the 5 megapixel macro camera. An ultra wide camera, ultra wide experience, baby. The 12 megapixel ultra wide camera sees the world with 123 degree angle of view. That's really cool. Awesome performance to do more at once. Whenever we are focused on one task or multiple tasks at once, the Galaxy A52 5G delivers a big boost in performance thanks to an advanced Arctic Core processor and up to 4 GB of RAM. Store more and delete less with 128 GB internal storage. If that's not enough, we can update it up to 1 TB with micro SD cards. And awesome battery. Last two years, the days, not years. Years, that is nice. Take, take a look, take t t um, a think about. Um, a battery will, will hold two years. That will be fine. But this is future. Now it's two days. The 4,500 mAh hour battery gives us more time to do what we love: streaming, sharing, gaming, and more. Artificial intelligent power management detects and adjusts to our mobile usage habits for long-lasting power. And with up to 25 watt of super fast charging, the Galaxy A52 5G gets back to full power and this quickly, baby. And we have awesome 5G, awesome speed. The power of 5G fast speed changes the way we experience and share content. And it's IP67. It's optimized for our ease, optimized for any screen size. The One UI lets us focus on what matters in an intuitive way. This is One UI. And security. We protect what matters to us. The Samsung Knox protects our phone from the first minute, defending our sensitivity information. And with a game booster, this gives us the edge. The Game Booster learns our usage patterns to optimize the battery temperature and memory. And now it comes, IP67, now spill, splash and splatter resistant. The rated IP67 for water and dust resistance stands up 1 meter of water for up to 30 minutes. And I think this is enough for such a smartphone. That's really cool. This is the Samsung Galaxy A52 and you can use a dual SIM. That means you can use one SIM card, Nano, and another SIM card, Nano, or one SIM card, Nano, plus a micro SD card up to one terabyte. Cool. So, let's make a setup to enter into the good or new Android version 11 with that awesome Galaxy A52s 5G smartphone. So now let's start here. Choose your language, choose your country. We are in Germany, so then uh, we should make English, Austria, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, Philippines, South Africa, United States. So a few legal items to um, review is now. Um, our data will be used according to the pri um, privacy policy. And loses Lisa and you have to cook, da, da, da. we have to read them, okay, and then we have to confirm that. Now we choose a Wi-Fi network. This is important because this smartphone has to um, um, to, to navigate via the internet to the host and um, it will be um, unlocked there. Okay, so we have to enter or we have to get this smartphone into the internet and the, the easiest way is the Wi-Fi network. We need a password for it. Choose um, or ask your, your um, admin what the password will be and if you do not have the password look underneath the router on the most of the time there is the passcode so let's go if you enter the passcode you are going to connect now and here we are we are connected to this wi-fi network we can also connect to a different kind of wi-fi networks as we like now the phone is checking for 
um, updates and it's getting our phone ready. This makes take a few minutes. So we can have a tea time now or we have a snack or we wait only a couple of seconds if your um, internet um, speed is high enough. This will cost you not a lot of time, okay? So let's take a little break, then we can and um, go on with that awesome Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G smartphone with dual SIM and Android. It's a mobile phone with six gigabyte of RAM, 128 gigabyte of memory. In this case, it's awesome black. Now the next step is copy apps and data. We can choose to transfer our apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts and more. We make don't copy because I will show you um, as a new beginner um, to set up this, okay? Just a second, please. It's, it's now checking some information. It's available in different sizes, 128 gigabyte and 256. Now we have to sign in Google. It's an Android operation system. Android is made by Google. And to enter into it, we will need a Google account. It's for free. We can create an account and this account will give us an email address. No? And for this, if you created an account, which is for free, okay, then we can enter here the email. And after this, we go next, and then we have to enter our passcode for the Google thing. In. Then we go next, and then um, we um, have a Google account to use the operation system with it. Let's go. So now we entered our Google ID, and we can see now we are in the game. We can go to agree these terms of services, of course. It's for free, you do not have to pay for it. Then we now getting account information to, uh, to the services. Tap to learn more about each service if we like. We can make it back up to Google Drive if we like, or if we do as not like, we can remove that checkbox here. We can use the location, we can allow scanning, we can send users and diagnostic data, we install and updates and apps. So we should accept this because with this, it can work good. We choose our search provider. Ecosia, Google, Microsoft Bing, DuckDuckGo, Yahoo, Kubant, Jandex, Geomix, Ocean Hero, Info.com, ASK.com, Panda Search, you can choose what your favorite search provider is be. So now we protect our phone. Face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin or password. Mm, I like face recognition. Let's continue. And then we can make a, um, a pattern, for example, or a pin or passcode or password, if we have to reboot this, um, this, the, the device. So this will um, get a password. And after this, you can use your, your face for it. Okay, let's make a pattern. So let's draw a little bit here. You can choose what you like. Make an awesome little scribble. And then we can make it. Yeah. So, do you wear glasses now is the question? Yes, of course. So continue. And now we start with it. Let's go. Now we it register our uh, face. Now it's time to, to drop my glasses. And now the next thing is um, my face will register one on perfect. When we unlock with the face recognition, we will stay on the lock screen until we swipe. We turn this off to go directly to the last screen we were using. If we, if we like, we can enable or disable this. Fast face recognition settings, faster recognition, require open eyes and brighten screen. You can choose as you like. Now access 
as to the assistant with Hey Google, okay? We can ask questions, we, get, we can get um, directions, we can get things done. As we can choose this, you will learn it by doing it. We access our assistant without unlocking our phone. For example, we can agree or skip this if we like. We allow assistance on lock screen or we do that degrees, de de allow or not allow as you like. Then we can view, review additional apps if we like. All of the following apps we can take, for example, Samsung Calculator, Galaxy Variables. So many apps are possible to use or you can make all of or you can edit it as you like then we have to wait again the samsung account mm, it's important to make a samsung account of course but it's the same um, it's the same steps like the uh, the google so we can skip this now but you will need a samsung account to update your your phone okay the um, the firmware updates, the camera, the app uh, layout as well should be activated and updated by the Samsung shop, because you have the um, the the Google um, the Google shop there. That means the Google Play Store, and of course for this you have the the Google account, and you can make um, in the Samsung shop. The, you can use the Samsung account. So skip this, you will make a Samsung account at home. Oh yeah, here you can see Samsung Cloud you can use, you can use Bixby, but I, I dislike it, Bixby. Galaxy Themes, Find My Mobile, this is an awesome thing. Samsung Pass, Galaxy Store, and Secure Folder. Skip again. But you do not skip, you will um, make an account because it's for free too. But it's the same steps like, like the Google account. And there we are. Now our, our screen is ready to use. Um, and here we are. This is your home screen. Hello, hello world, hello, hello. 852S 5G by Samsung. That's awesome. We can see here the Galaxy Store. This is the Samsung shop. And here's the Play Store. This is the Google shop. Now, for example, you can see in the Galaxy shop, they've, um, a bunch of apps, of course. You can um, you can see here Pokemon Go. For example, um, there are yeah, cancel. You you will update it, okay? Hmm. You have to update it, okay? You do update it. Um, in the Galaxy Store, sometimes there are some Pokemon um, apps are cheaper than in the uh, um, Android Store, okay? So maybe you 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 will look often there. It's really cool, and of course. You, you can update your phone with that, no? your your camera system, etc., etc., etc. Okay, yeah, downloading the Galaxy um, Store app now, and then we can sh look what's going on. But in this time, oh, it's, it's, re it's ready, we can go back here, or not. Um, let's go to, to the Play Store. The Play Store is, is like the same, only a little bit bigger. We can see a lot of apps there. We can install for free and some apps will cost you a little bit. So you can choose what you like and you can download what you like. To come back to the home screen, you can push here in the center on the bottom line. Let's go to the Galaxy uh, store again. Here we can see yeah, here gold diggers, for example, Pokemon Go, a lot of Guns of Glory, here Forge Street. It's, 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 it's like Android store. So let's go back. This is every time go back to the home screen. This is the, the tab to go back, back in the in, in in before what we before done. And here you can sort and see what apps are open in the back, and you can close all to close them to make a better overview for you or to speed up a little bit your smartphone. Then if you go to see all apps, because here is only a favorite um, thing, if you go to, to see all of them, you can swipe up and here we are. These are all apps which are installed there. Facebook, Galaxy, Samsung apps here, MyFiles, Bixby, AR Zones, Sun Google, Play Store, OneDrive, Messages, Converter Tips as well. 
And if you are like to sort them, you can select it and then um, you can you can uh, 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 edit it a little bit, as you can see. No? You can sort a lot of M and then you can use this to navigate or to delete as you would like with a long press. Of course, you can remove it. For example, let's remove something, OneDrive here. Press, remove, and it's, it's, it's away, it's gone. No? Again, so here, select, no? and now we can select a lot of, and then we can make a little bit uh, jobs with that done. So here we are again. Then disable game launcher. Well, all functions related to be will disable, for example. You can choose that, or you can navigate it. You can hold and pull it over the screen and sort like you are, like you, you like your home screen, okay? So what's next? We can um, go to the camera. Here we have volume up, volume down, volume up, loud, volume down, a little bit silent. Then we have here the on and off button. You can see we can make it on. Then he scans for my face and face doesn't match. Okay, well, that's not so good. <laughs> again, let's do it again. Yes, here we are, no? Okay, now we swipe up and we are on the home screen. If we are going to make a screenshot, for example, we push the volume down and the power button. And here you can see, then we have, um, we took a picture. Here's the picture. Let's show that in gallery, always. And here it is. There is a picture. Okay. You can um, we can share it, for example. No, we can share it to the world. We can delete it, of course. Move to trash, and it's deleted. If we are going to use the photo, the camera, tip twice on the power button, and we start here with the camera system. And here we have a lot of things. We can make, for example, fun stuff with it. Let's rotate the camera again. And now we can make fun stuff, as you can see here. <laughs> that's cool, that's really cool. Hey, hey. Let's have a look. Oh, I, that's awesome. Huh? Then we can make single take, as you can see, in, in my way of photos. Photos, we can make photos. A little bit zoom out, a little bit zoom in. And we can see he see the dimensions nine to sixteen one to one four three to four. Here's the flash option. Then we have a timer function, timer on or off. Then we have the options for the camera settings. You can choose what you like to to set up there. We can make videos. We can make photos. Um, here are videos. To make a video or photo, you have to push here, or you can use the volume up and volume down button to make it on or off. And there are a lot of more things. AR, Doodle, Professional, Panorama, Food, Night, Macro, Portrait, Pro Video, Super Slow Motion, Slow Motion, and Hyperlapse. This is all possible to use for you. And you can choose them and then you can use that bunch of camera system and of course this camera system. The other side you can use by rotating here okay and here we can see now we are here at the other side to choose that of course we can hold the device like this or like that no? you can see everything goes with that and here you can see we can zoom out and zoom in zoom in the center as we like so here we are and a little bit more drop down a little bit you can see here the um, the drop down um the drop down thing here you can see wi-fi sound bluetooth rotation and um, flight mode flash and there are more to go down you have here more more hotspot power saving mode link to windows here brightness level can go up or down and of course the setup where is the setup let's go back swipe up go to settings here here should be your samsung account later and then we can make a twisted display, for example, here to make brightness level, go to dark mode, for example, or light mode as you like. Then the motion smoothness, screen mode, vivid, screen timeout, up to 10 minutes as you like, navigation bar, 
um, and you can make your setup here in this folder as you like. That's cool, really. So, and here you can see how much apps in the background are running. Close all jobs done. That's really cool, isn't it? To switch the device off, you go from the upside down and there you can see here is the power button. Okay, there it is, power off as you like. So that was a little information about to navigate in this Android 11 with that Samsung Galaxy 852S 5G smartphone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon, soon.